Hey, welcome back to No One Survived. In this season, we play with hardcore difficulty settings as shown here, including permadeath, which means I lose all skills and any tech I learned since my last death. Three times the amount of zombie spawn and zombie strength is set to max. Virus death rate set higher than hardcore, so I can die easier from viral infection when my antibody stat reaches zero. Loot distribution is set to rare, so very few containers have loot in them. Not only that, but the amount of loot in the containers is minimal. The loot respawn interval is set to zero, so absolutely no respawn. What I find is what I get. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do here... Uh, mainly because I really need advanced parts and I got no way to make them. I'm going to run out to, it's not too far from here, this trader here, this merchant who sells car parts and uh, advanced parts too sometimes. If I, if I can get lucky, I might be able to find some there. So I'm just going to head out. If I get lucky and he's got some on him, then I can look at starting the uh, control center here so I can get some NPCs too. Just make sure I got what I need to go. I've got about two days before he respawns. I think I have everything. I just need a little bit of iron, I think. And that way I'm covered for a pot. If I need one, I'm pretty sure I've got one up there, though. Double check, make sure my bags are empty. Oh, I have some iron in there. Okay. I'm not going to be looting anything. I'm just running there and back. Because I want to get back in time for this to rot out. Um, oh, I got one more weed in there. I had no idea. But I don't have any fertilizer, so I can't I can't do anything with it yet. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run up there. I'm not gonna do too much prep for this because I'm coming right back. As long as I got tradables, which I do. I haven't removed any tradables from that one pack yet. It's gonna cost me a little bit in fuel, but that's that's okay. Just make sure my generator is good to go. There's another trader over here in C2, but I'm not sure if I can make it to him before day 10. Those uh, medicinal herbs should have respawned since I last played too, so I'll go and grab those real quick. Oh, I should have got some sleep. That's okay. There's a bed there at the uh, near the trader. I got a camp set up there. I don't think I've checked this vehicle. Uh, well, I can't really, can't really take that with me. I don't have any room. I mean, I guess I can hold it out the window. I can also break it down for some fabric, but you know what? I'm going to hang on to it. I remember it's there. I'm in no desperate need for another bag right now. Unless it was a hiking bag, I would take it, or a military bag. This guy is fairly close to me, so it shouldn't cost me too much in fuel. I know I've checked all these vehicles. Just crank that right up because the cloudy rainy nights in this game are really, really dark. Even for me. Uh, he's got a repair kit, and he's got advanced parts. And he's got some car spare parts. That's perfect. I should have brought that ammo with me. Now that I can make it, I could have traded it. 56. I've got, uh, I got a shotgun, which is taking up a ton of room. I can trade that. I will be able to make these eventually, so it kind of sucks that I have to get rid of my limited tradables for something like this. But it is what it is. Definitely take this because I don't think I have enough spare parts to to, uh, to make another one. I do have a little bit of reputation with them, so things are a little bit cheaper here. This is a big money right there. 
Oh, I'm pretty close. I'm like really close. And another battery will be too much. I didn't. I don't have any ammo on me. Usually what I use to round things up. Oh, I got the mechanics volume too. What else do I have here? I got the toolbox. I got two toolboxes. I can trade one. That should be enough. It'll probably put me over though. We'll do two toolboxes. Hang on. I got to figure this out. Because I don't want to spend too much. He does have a little bit of food with him. Yeah, I'm just going to end up spending too much here. I really need those advanced parts, so, so I'm going to take it. So we should have enough to start the control center now. Get my bags back in. I might actually run to that other trader and see if he's got some more advanced parts. I don't really have much more to trade. What I do have is a couple of batteries, and they're only worth 30. And those are five advanced parts, and you can't split their stacks. So these five here were worth, like, I don't know, 40? wonder what they sell back as. Very little. Yeah, I don't really have much more to trade. Maybe I'll just head back home. I'm pretty sure I cleaned up my camp up there, too. So there shouldn't be, shouldn't be any ore or anything ready for me there. Like I said, just a quick and dirty uh, run to the trader here. I want to I don't want to get too far away from home because I want to make sure that I can plant uh, more vegetables and, and wheat and stuff before it's too late to plant for the season you know I never did check that building right there like there's no zombies around that building they're all across the street at the gas station or there wasn't any zombies the last time I was here but there's a ton at the gas station there shouldn't be too much there. It's just, it's ground loot, right? Simple ground loot. I see a toolbox already. But I'm pretty sure I'm safe. But I might get lucky and get some wire or something here. Yeah, not very good loot at all. Uh, but something's better than nothing, right? I got my toolbox back at least. Oh, you know where else we can go is down to the egg dealer here. And I'm just going to save my game. Had a few issues with my computer this morning and uh I'm not sure what's causing it just in case. I don't want I don't want to have a crash or something. So yeah, I'm going to go down to the egg dealer and see if I can grab some more uh egg stuff. But before I do that, I'm gonna hit home and grab some ammunition, and that way I can uh, I'll have a little bit more to trade with. So what we'll do is grab some sticks here. Uh, I don't have any. I'll have to go make some. I'm not sure if a cup of tea can rot, if I can get any rotten food for that, but I'm going to try it out. It's only half a day to go bad. And I need water too. There we go, those should be bad in no time. I'm gonna grab a couple hours sleep, that'll help a little bit. And I need it anyway. See if we get any rotten food for that. I might stick around for that. And then try to make that other trader before day 10. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to do it though. But I also need to make sure that I get these planted before summer let's uh let's get rid of these toolboxes i think i still have one in my trunk got a car repair kit we'll keep with me no nope, we're at like 80 health so we'll just keep it at home for now 
and some advanced parts for a control center. Got three more of those. I need two more to make another repair kit. Yeah, we now have enough for a control center there. I think I need ten. Yeah, ten advanced parts. And the other big one's going to be the cement. I think I'm short on cement and electrical wire. I don't have any electrical wire. So we are definitely going to make our way down to... E1, E2 here to this huge industrial site. Last season, I did really well there for uh, parts, you know, to build things. So I'm going to go back there. And there's books. There's everything there. Like, there's there's books and stuff there, too. So my next outing will be down here. I'd like to get to the egg dealer here and see if he's got any more wheat. I don't really need the wheat, though. Honestly, I don't, I don't really need it. I mean, I need it. I'm trying to hurry something up, that's all. Like, eventually, at some point, some season, I'm going to have enough wheat to have enough tradables to get whatever I need. And then once I've got the things that I need, I'm not, because the thing with this, this game is that you're in a hurry to get, you know, set up. And then once you're set up, it's like, then you look around and, and you start looking at the map, looking for things to do. But on hardcore mode, it does take quite a bit longer to get there. So we'll wait for those to go bad. Hopefully I get rotten food for them. And we'll grab some ammo for trade. Actually, we'll queue up some more ammo. I should be able to queue some more up. Look at that. I've got 90 rounds. I got enough to do a bandit camp now. I could easily do a bandit camp with that. Or at least I think I can. It's been quite a while since I shot a rifle in this game. Like months. And, uh... Oh, didn't I get a special forces rifle too? So yeah, I've already got... And I got another 15 rounds there. I've already got this guy here too. That's 5.56. Five, so maybe I'll queue up some 5.56. Five, so I've got two, two ready to go. This is more close range. The SKS, I seem to do really well with that, even though a lot of people don't recommend using it. I enjoy using it because it's uh I don't know, I just I do better with it than I do with a submachine gun. I don't I don't spray bullets. I, I'm good at the one shots, it seems, or I used to be anyway. So maybe we'll make three of those just just so we have a backup. And that'll give me 30 rounds. And then we'll keep making these guys. Wow. So much ammo. So much ammo. I love it. These guys trade for a little more, I think. The 762 rounds. I could be wrong, but I think they do. Yeah, this is good. Let's see how my uh particles do. Oh, right. I need I need to set up some logs here and probably should get some sleep. Didn't I just sleep for two hours? Or was it only one? I'm not going to make that trader before the next day or the next uh, cycle. So I'm just going to stay here just for a few minutes. Make some charcoal. Try that sleep again. Did I sleep? I don't remember if I did. I think I did. Maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. I had 18, so... Maybe I only selected one hour. There we go. Now I got 100. What are we at now for rot? Pretty close. And let's get some iron going. Yeah, I got quite a bit done in the last session. There was uh, a lot going on here. The harvesting, the moving, cleaning everything up. Quite a bit. Come on, rotten food. You know what? Let's get some iron tools made up. It's a bit of a waste, but again, I'm right beside an ore field. It's just time, right? Not so much the axe, but the, uh, the picks, because they take... It takes a long time to... I mean, it shaves off two hits per every rock or whatever, and that's quite a bit. I can't imagine how many times I've swung a pick in this game. And uh, why don't we, while we wait for that food to rot, because I want to uh, I want to plant those wheat seeds before we go. Let's have a look at the moisture content, and then maybe lay out a spot for the control center here. Moisture's still pretty good. Why don't we put it right here? Like, right here. Because I can see zombies from here. And if I get NPCs and draw those guys, and I draw a ton of them and they follow me back, the NPCs will take them out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's move this stuff out of here.
just put it right here for now. I like having a spare crafting table. Not there because I run in and out of there. We'll do it right there. Can't believe summer's like a day away, less than a day away. I'll have to figure out my food situation too. I don't really have any food. Any minute now, these should be going. Hopefully I get some rotten food. That'd be great. starting to see that go down now it's it's uh i still got lots but the reality of uh it being a limited resource until i go back up to the mine is kind of kicking in now Trade out that pick put the other one in my go bag May as well water my plants while I uh, wait for this to rot. Um, I think we're still doing pretty good. Well, that was a failed experiment. I don't see any rotten food, and these are these are starting to go bad. I mean, they're starting to disappear, and I don't have any rotten food up here, so that didn't work. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, I guess uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to plant the wheat. Well, I can still do it if I, as long as I get it by day five of spring. I can still plant this one wheat seed, or I can just leave it till next season. That sucks. Oh, well. At least now I know and I won't be wondering. But yeah, I'm thinking a control center like right in line with this uh this drive drive up to here. That way they're all kind of funneled towards it. So many down there. Just gonna lay out a few foundation. Yeah, I can draw them back here and have uh, have the NPCs take them out. I think that's kind of a neat idea. Oh, it's raining. Perfect. Something like that there. It's a little weird, but I, I kind of like it. I might end up moving this stuff down a little bit. 
or I might just leave it there. But I think uh, I think these guys patrolling around here will attract the zombies. It'll be like an ongoing thing. Yeah, they might actually start wandering over. That's pretty close. I don't know if this, this is pretty risky actually to put it right here. But uh, but yeah, that's kind of the idea I have. But I'm gonna need a ton of stone for that. Like so many rock. Oh, he is coming over. Maybe it is a little too close. Okay, he's come right over. What do I have for arrows? Nothing. I might move it back one block or one uh, one one foundation square. Maybe not. I gotta get something to eat. Only got one bait. Yeah, I forgot I only had the one bait. I'm, I'm a little uh, dependent now on this rotten food here. I don't know if I'll be able to catch a fish with that one bait. Uh, you know what I should have done is when I was at that trader checking for the uh, spare parts. I should, well, I gotta go back anyway on day 10. I should have uh, killed some animals around there. And that way I would have had some food. I realize I can eat what's in here right now, but I really need that rotten food. Well, I'm going to go try my luck with the one bait that I have. I'm really going to risk it and by running over. not going to waste any fuel for it. I'm going to grab some rocks on the way there and back. I know there's a mushroom hiding somewhere back here. I just, uh, I don't remember where it is. I don't really have a backup plan if I break my line fishing. If I lose my bait. <laughs> or if I get something other than a fish. <laughs> and I got a water bottle. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> the wrong resource I need right now. Okay, I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to drive up here and grab those mushrooms. I don't really have a choice. I'm kinda out of food now. I don't even think I have any meat left. Like any uh, jerky, I think it's all gone. So why don't we do this? For now, we're gonna go hunt some deer. Uh, I'm gonna go back to that trader and see if he's got any more repair kits and car parts and advanced parts. I should have enough ammo on me to uh, to buy whatever I need. I do have a can of food in the trunk, but it's mostly protein. It's a protein rich food. It's nice hitting only five times instead of seven. It does make a difference. I'm getting pretty low on my stats. I better get going here. And I'm going to hunt quite a few deer, I think. I should have some arrows with me here somewhere. Let's just make sure. And I have a full camp up there, too. 
Uh, I've got enough to make another bow, enough fur. Yeah, I got some arrows. too wet oh i can't add fuel to it oh that's interesting but it won't go out huh i never ran into that problem before i don't think let's just uh give it a little bit of help here and then i'll rebuild it and i'll put it someplace undercover or i suppose i can do that right now i don't really have a lot of time here though Okay, I'm going to go into the red here pretty quick. Uh, let's check that food in here one more time. See if I can plant before I go. And I can't. No, it's it's still rotting. Okay. So I'll run back to that trader. Oh, I'm going to turn my brightness down a little bit here. And see if he's got another repair kit and advanced parts for trade. I've got lots of ammo with me. I got those batteries. I'll grab a few more stacks of ammo. Look at it all. Crazy. We'll go ahead and queue up some more here. I'm doing, still doing pretty good for fuel. I got lots to get all over the map yet, and i um, not too worried about it. I've got quite a few industrial facilities to, to check, so I, sh I shouldn't run out of fuel. And this guy's fairly close to me too, so it's not too bad. So again, building centrally like that really helps, especially conserving fuel. There's a big hotel down there. I would love to be able to loot that. I know there's some... Pretty bad zombies down there, though. Let's see if this guy's got more advanced parts. That'd be great if he does. It'll be well worth the ammo. And he's got four more and another repair kit. Wow. And some more spare parts. Whoops. Trying to steal it from him. See if I can make this happen. Got food, too. Shouldn't be that expensive. Maybe I'll buy that food. Forty nine. What's that worth? Fifteen. Thirty. Fifty three. Whole stack for only what? Did that give me twenty three point five? It's still it's still better than nothing. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. I don't mind spending that ammo at all. Really sets me up. Yeah, there's a lot of security in having those car repair kits. That's a good deal. A lot of work went into getting getting the uh, the ammo though, like a lot of work and time. All right, where's my camp? It is. I think it's straight ahead. Yeah, I see it there. So I'm after rabbits and deer because I want to mix the meat. I don't want to park too close to. Uh, my camp though because those deer will kill my my vehicle i am getting low on iron so i'm gonna queue up some iron here lots of silver i do see some uh, medicinal herbs down there i'll grab those and let those rot naturally and I better get some food here. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're into the first day of summer. Got a couple of drying racks set up here. May as well set my spawn point in case I run into that bear. And we'll get two hours of sleep. Just to make sure I'm covered for energy. I saw a rabbit there. I see rabbits everywhere now. Let's go eat. Back to the carnivore diet. This is protein rich, but it also has carbs. I think it's 10 carbs, maybe 20. Pretty good meal. Uh, 10 carbs, 25 fatigue. It also gets some charcoal started here so I can smoke the other meat into jerky. See if I can find another rabbit here. There's one. Man, are they ever hard to see. Nice having this camp set up and ready to go. Oh, I see another rabbit. I'm going to go take him. I think I'll do one more of these. I need the carbs. I know it's only 10, but I got unlimited deer here practically and rabbits. So I'm not too worried about it. And I do have to get back home too. I, I want to uh, get that last wheat seed planted. Did I ruin my other one? Whoops. I wasn't watching what I was doing there. I don't know what happened. I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Maybe I eat it. I don't know. And we'll fill up this guy here with uh, the meat. I don't want to bring it back with me. It does take up quite a bit of room. Then again, I'm not really going anywhere. So I may as well get as much meat as I can and fill up on rotten food. I think I lost that other arrow. Oh well. Oh, 
Oh, you little bugger. Those arrows are expensive. Nice to see the rain. Oh, I got a trophy. That's worth three points at the trader. I should have brought another bag with me. Summer storm coming up. Definitely don't like those. Can't see very much uh, when they're going. And not only that, but the um, you can't hear the zombies too well. Like, look at that. That's insane. gotta pick a landmark to put my bag or else I will lose it and uh, I think I'll not sure where put it up by these trees here this guy here Another trophy, another three points. That's it. I'm pretty much full. I guess uh, I guess that'll be it. I'll see if I got room in my go bag. I don't think I do. Not really. I might be able to take one more deer. Yeah, I should have room for one more. I can't make any stops because I, I really got no room. Well, I also have jerky here to take. Well, maybe I don't have enough room. We'll just leave. See if there's anything in here. Oh, I had charcoal in here. Ready to go.
Okay, so I got a few tradables, like tradable trophies, and I did get a lot of meat to rot, so that should give me plenty of stuff that I need for bait. I'm going to make a little bit of water while I'm here, because this is probably full. Maybe I'll make a little bit of broth too. I think that's good enough for now. Stats are looking good. I've got pretty much everything I need here. Or that I have room for. And uh, yeah, these should all be empty. Good little hunting camp. Hunting and mining camp worked out really well. It was really quick. I didn't have to set up anything. Did I get all the jerky? I'll just double check there. I think I left some on the back end there. Okay, we'll head back home and try to figure out where I'm going to put that command center. It's a little close to the zombies. It's a little closer than I wanted, but... I suppose I can always move it too if it's too close after I build it. Just that stone foundation, uh, I don't get the rocks back for that. This would be another good spot to build here. It's pretty flat here. Lots of zombies, lots to loot around here. Hopefully I have enough uh, to get me through the next couple of days until I can get some bait made. So these guys have come back. I didn't log in or out, but I guess I, I went far enough away that they respawned. They're treated like rocks and uh, trees. Got a little bit of room for rock. Feeling pretty good about that trip. It was a uh, supply run, basically. It wasn't too exciting. Oh, there we go. We got six rotten food. And uh, we're going to make some bait, I think. And, well, you know what? I'll make one fertilizer so I can get that one wheat going. And then the rest will go to bait. Actually, I can put this meat in here, too. Let it rot. Yeah, that took quite a while to get what I needed for this. Oh, it's raining too, so now's a good time to plant. There we go. Hopefully that's ready before winter. Oh, it should be. So even if it took 15 days, I still have more than enough time. And what else do we have here? Just uh, standard stuff. Got a couple of bait. Hopefully I can catch a fish with that. I have to wait out the rest of this to rot, and then uh, I should be able to make some more bait. Looking good. Use up quite a bit of power. Half of that battery went to making ammunition, so they do drain a little quicker than they used to. Look at all the ammo. That's so awesome. Holy cow. That's crazy. I think I have more than enough ammo. I'm not going to make any more until... Uh, until I absolutely need to, because I want to save that saltpeter. Peter. 
Can I not grab that repair kit? I thought I did. This fur, you know, I'm going to save some for bow, like as a backup, but once I get the SKS, I should be able to not really worry about the bow so much. I'll use it if I need to, like, not draw attention to myself. Wasn't there a medical something or other I could have learned, but I ran out of uh, herbs? No, I need to make fermented alcohol for that. That's worth, what, like six, five, six points at the trader, so I'd like to make quite a few of those too. I can make another repair kit. I may as well do that. Things are looking up. gonna make a little bit of room here in case they all decide to rot at the same time and it glitches and doesn't want to uh or doesn't think it has room for the uh the rotten food there we go anything here i can make probably clothing repair kits that'll be coming soon pretty sure i'm in good shape right now but i'm gonna need some before i go to a bandit camp because they're gonna tear me apart with bullets Bags are good to go. It's pretty much it for the copper, too. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take down that uh, building blueprint just so I can get the foundation filled in. And we'll start collecting some rock here and try to get that building put in. That way the NPCs can spawn. From what I understand, the NPCs do not spawn until that building gets built.
I don't think I've been down to this end very much, so I'll have a look around here. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a lot of rock down here. Maybe not. I should probably get some sticks and get another pick going. I have to go back to the stone picks. So that was two iron bars. Basically, I just blew up. Oh, where'd I put my bag? There it is. Man, that's hard to see. Another thing I, I might try doing after I get a weapon, I might actually try to collect enough teeth for a shotgun also. And uh, I'll grab a shotgun and try to do the um, the uh, the trader, like they have these tasks, kill zombies or, or raids or whatever, and you get rewards for them and you get weapons for them, right? So that's gonna be worth some good tradables too. I think I've only ever done one, I tried it out. And it's pretty intense. It's like having a horde, but you're not able to build any traps or anything around you because you're too close to the trader. But you do get rewards for, for completing it. Like, uh, I think I got one of the special SKSs that, um, like, it was decked out in camo. It had better stats. So I'm kind of looking forward to that, too. That's another way to earn some tradables, for sure. Or better weapons. Sure would be nice to run into rocks that are sitting beside each other, like really close to each other. This is taking a long time. Getting pretty close to that industrial facility that I completed just north of my base. I should start making my way back. I'm quite a ways away from home. And I haven't seen any mushrooms, like there's no mushrooms around my home. I think there's like one for sure that I've seen. I don't even know where that is though. Oh, there's one there. Nice. And another one. And three. So I'm going to put a bed down just to mark it. And that way I know I've got three mushroom really close to home here. That's great.
that'll be it for this video and you know what to do to show your support appreciate all the comments thanks for watching